Hello, this is Mihai, and since an action form version 3.9 launch is imminent, I'm coming to show you a few of the new features that you will find in our product. We've implemented three new field types, a progress bar, a slider bar, and a sortable input field type. We've added a new feature for radio buttons, which you will see later on this video. We've added an action to allow you to execute JavaScript between other actions on the buttons. We've added a couple of actions in the DNN Sharp group to allow you to open, close uh, pop-ups and modules like Action Form Action Grid and Tabs Pro. We've added a couple of security improvements with the Credential Store and using web APIs. And an older but still nice feature, Toast Messages. You will see all of them in this video today. Of course, a lot of useful tutorials you will find on blog.dnnsharp.com slash 1001. All tutorials are available on our YouTube channel as well. You just need to search for DNN Sharp on YouTube. Now let's get back to work. Let me show you first the three new fields for action form. As I told you, it's about a progress bar, which comes with three settings displayed as circle, as a bar, and as a semicircle, showing both values and percentage. And the best thing is that it updates real time based on values coming from other form fields as you're used. The second one, the slider. Of course, it comes with a slider bar, start text, end text, and different values. But the nice thing, it shows different help text message for each step and also changes color if you set it that way. And as you can see, once you change the slider bar, the progress bars change as well. I also mentioned the sortable input field type, which is this one over here. You can add an icon to the left or to the right of the description. And uh, here I have a text box that shows actually what's behind the field type. It's returning the values at this moment, but if you don't add values in the item data source, uh, you will see exactly the text. And once you change it, the output updates as well. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, we've added a big improvement to one of our older fields multiple choice with radio buttons. Actually, this is a multiple choice with radio buttons field, but this time we've changed them to be buttons, actual buttons. I'll show you from the admin screen how you can alter that. What else is new? Execute JavaScript action. As I told you, in uh, action form 3.9, you have an execute JavaScript action that will allow you to execute JavaScript code. The new thing is that uh, now you can add this action to be executed after other actions you execute on the button. Before, of course, you could execute JavaScript, but all JavaScript code was processed before every action on the button. This one is done after the actions on the button or there where you place it. You can find it under code, execute JavaScript code and write your code here. We've added new actions in the DNN Sharp group. You probably know from that group uh, browse data from action grid or filter action grid. These are old actions, but now you will be able to open or close Tabs Pro and Action Form pop-ups and even initialize an Action Form module. Security improvements. We've added the web API and we're still working on it. It's not final yet. 
also the credential store uh, you don't have to use uh, credentials for add-ons like payment processors on every button you'll probably hear more of it uh, in uh, future tutorials and the toast message you'll find it under the message group display toast message this one appears on the page and disappears after a while you can change background colors uh, transition effects uh, add a close button on it and of course set the time that you want it to stay open and also the position on the screen middle center is what we usually use now let's see the settings for the new field types let's go to manage form let's first see the progress bar of course it comes with an initial value, a drop down where you can choose the shape of the progress bar. What do you want to show in the progress bar? Nothing, no value at all. Percentage or values, minimum and maximum value. These values can be in any range you want. Of course you will have to make sure uh, that values coming from other fields are between those min and max values. The color of the um, colored area of the progress bar and the color of the background for the progress bar, the width of the line and duration of the animation. Of course you can change colors once values change. For example here I have values between 1 and 10 and if I want that after 3 to be uh, yellow instead of red I type yellow and 3 here and after 5 I want this to turn to orange after 7 to make it green that's all I need to do to make it happen um, the radio buttons you have a checkbox here to make them buttons this will make them look like you've seen before let me uncheck this and save go back to the form there they are radio buttons simple radio buttons and as you can see the progress bar is changing colors based on the values i specified green orange and yellow Let's make the buttons look like buttons again. What's your favorite color? Let's make them clickable buttons. Save. Refresh the page. Then the slider comes with initial value, start text and end text, minimum value, maximum value, and the step. And Captions are the help texts that are displayed below the slider bar and the corresponding value for each text. Also, colors can be changed the same way. If you want to show even the value, you enable display tooltip as well. The last field, sortable input, you just provided some items as to any other multiple choice field we have. And here you can choose the um, icon that is shown. I've used the paper print, but you can change this to any icon from Font Awesome. Let's say Font Awesome Bars. Save, refresh the form, and it, it, they changed to bars. I hope you like all these new features, and hope to see you again in another video. Bye. Thank you.